Oh, it is echoey in here. Echo. Echo. <laughs> oh. Hi Huckleberries, welcome to, I don't know, a brief chat. I get asked this question a lot and I thought I would just make a brief little chit chat on how I feel about living in Hawaii and if I'm gonna stay. I've been here for about seven months now and not to build up any suspense or anything, I'm just gonna give you the honest truth. I knew almost immediately after getting here that this island was not for me to live long term. <laughs> Obviously, after seven months of being here, I still don't have any intention of leaving anytime soon, even though I questioned all of that when the eruption took place and it really started to affect my health. But I realized that I came out here with a purpose and my work isn't finished. But having said that, when I first got here, I was really waiting for that moment that I would get hooked. But at this point, seven months in, I feel very confident that this is not a place where I will settle down in. And I'm here to share a few reasons why. The biggest issue I've had out here is that this island is very low key <laughs> and quiet. Other than the plethora of hikes and amazing snorkel spots, there's not a ton of events, there's no nightlife, the dining scene is meh. And I think a lot of people come out here to get away, to have quiet, to have stillness. And a little bit of that for me is good, but I am an extrovert. I don't know if you could tell. I need more stimulation than this island has to offer. Granted, part of the reason, actually a huge reason why I chose to come to the Big Island versus say the other Hawaiian islands was to get away from distraction, to focus on myself, get my health and wellness in order, and to experience rural life. So I came out here expecting this sort of thing, but obviously this is my first time really living it. So now that I've lived it, I can easily say, okay, I need, you know, A, B, and C. Another thing about the island is just the fact that people do come and go so much. And I am one of those people, obviously. But making friends, making connections is so hard out here. And this was something that people mentioned on YouTube and online that making friends, making a social circle out here is really difficult. And then the actual locals, the people who have been here for their whole lives, they really tend to keep to themselves in that regard where why would they reach out to me? Why would they care about building a relationship with me? Because I'll probably be gone in a year. And having everyone and everything being so far apart, there isn't quite that sense of community that I was expecting in that essence of physical, actual community like this is the neighborhood and this neighborhood gets together. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, I just haven't really experienced it. In the seven months that I've been here, I've been working a ton. So just in the last couple weeks, I've really started to explore the island. So I realize I've only scratched the surface, there's still so much to see, but I've always wanted to live by the ocean, near the ocean, and experience it. And I don't like saying this because I really, truly do love the ocean. But personally, my heart sings when I see the mountains. And I guess I misunderstood what it was like out here. I thought that I'd be able to see the volcanoes in the distance and get that kind of grand, awe-inspiring feeling out here. But really, you're just on like a steep hill and there's clouds above and you never get that kind of look. I went to Maui once and I got to see that in the distance. I got to see the big volcanoes and even that really spoke to me. So I always just imagined the Rockies as my heaven on earth, you could say. Coming out here, I thought I would build a deeper relationship with the ocean and I have but it's not nearly as deep as my relationship to the mountains. And the last reason that really comes to mind is this is an island, duh. Being on a larger landmass appeals to me. This island is by far the most diverse of all the islands as far as 
what I've been told. Big Island has tons of microclimates and a lot of diversity, but even still, I'm an explorer and I really did fall in love with the mainland on my road trip and just being able to go to the deserts of Arizona, to the Rocky Mountains, to see glaciers and rainforests and rolling hills and plains. I like the grandeur of that and Big Island has a little bit of it, but you know, I don't, I don't think landlocked life is really for me. And this is by no means me criticizing the Big Island. There is so much to love out here, but I get asked this kind of question all the time and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit on what I've realized and the fact that I've gotten to know myself even better. I now know these things about myself and I know these things about a different part of the world that I had never been before. This place is really serving a purpose for me. It's giving me that quiet and it's giving me a completely different perspective of life and the world. And I'm surrounded by beauty all the time and incredible weather. I do think that when the day comes that I do leave, I think it'll be a sad one. It'll be bittersweet at least but I am called to van life. I came out here to save up money for a van to buy on the mainland. And let's just say I haven't changed my mind. I think about it all the time. And not to say that I can't ship my van out here and enjoy it for a few months. I'll definitely come back, but I don't see me settling down here. Frankly, I don't really see me settling down anywhere anytime soon, so. Who the heck knows? We're just making this up as we go. Let me know what you guys think. Where do you want to settle down and why? What kind of place really makes your heart sing? Where do you feel connected? I look forward to reading your comments. In the meantime, I hope you're all doing very well and I'll see you soon for another video. Peace.